Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting a Steam error that the destination folder must be empty. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and uninstall Steam here. So you want to start by opening up the start menu. Just left click on the start button one time. Type in control panel. Best match, go back with control panel. Go ahead and left click on that to open up the control panel window. And then you want to go down to where it says programs and features. So set so your view up here to large icons if you don't see it. And then like I said, select programs and features. Now if you notice Steam in here, you just want to go ahead and left click on it and then select uninstall. So again, if you see Steam in the list, you want to uninstall it. Once you're done with that, close out of here. Open up the start menu again. Type in File Explorer. Best match, should come back with File Explorer. Go ahead and left click on that. Go and left click on this PC on the left side. Go underneath Local Disk and it should have a little Windows logo above it or perhaps wherever you have Steam installed on. So if you have it on an external hard drive or whatnot, just navigate over to that drive. And then you want to select the Program Files folder. And then you want to select the View tab up at the top. Go to the far right side and select the Options. Click on the View tab and make sure Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives is selected. And then left click on Apply and OK. Now you want to go underneath Program Files. And if you see Steam in here, you want to go right click on it and remove it. So just delete. And you want to go look in Program Files Times 86 as well. So it might be in the Times 86 Program Files folder. So once you're done with that, close out of here, restart your computer, and then you want to go open up a web browser. You want to navigate over to google.com. And into Google, you want to go to search up the name Steam. So pretty straightforward. Hit enter. One of the best matches should say welcome to Steam. Go ahead and left click on that one time. Should be a green button up at the top of the page that says install Steam. You want to go ahead and just left click on that. And then select the install Steam button. Click on the setup button once it's started downloading. Click on yes if you receive user account control prompt. It's going to say welcome to Steam setup. Click on next. Select your language. Next. Destination folder if you want to change it you can otherwise just go ahead and click on install. Begin installing Steam here. Shouldn't take very long and then once it's done just check mark inside the box or run Steam if you choose to do so. You don't have to but at this point you should be able to run your games okay and it shouldn't be any issue. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.